Universe 7 won the first round of the pre-tournament exhibition match as Majin Buu totally fucked the shit out of Brazil. We have Gohan and Lavender on stage for the second round of action all set to take place on the next episode. In this video, I will break down the preview of Dragon Ball Super Episode 80. Before anything else, I want to share my prediction on who is going to win, Gohan or Lavender. We have some hint, it's very vague, but let's dig into it. In the latest DBS opening, Goku has been seen fighting Borgamo, the only remaining fighter of Universe 9. If that scene is from the exhibition and not the tournament of power, and the winner will be decided based on the round's own, then we can conclude that Gohan will lose the match as a third round wouldn't be necessary if Gohan won, in that case. But if this scene is from the Tournament of Power, then it's very much possible that U7 wrapped victory by winning the first two rounds. Another important thing to consider in this equation is if they will even go by their round winning rule, because we see there are no hard and fast rule in this match, even cheating is being allowed. It's like all about satisfaction. So regardless of U7 already winning the match, Zeno might still want to see round 3. In that case, U7 can win all 3 rounds of this match. If you look at the episode title and summary, it sounds like Gohan is the warrior who is going to take the win. Let's take a quick look at it. Dragon Ball Super episode 80 title is Awaken the Dormant Fighting Spirit, Son Gohan's Battle. The second round of the omnipresent match, facing off against Universe 9's Lavender, Gohan is sprayed in the face with poison mist and loses his eyesight. Unable to sense even his opponent's ki, he is one-sidedly bitten down. But, translation courtesy, harms. So this title obviously makes us feel like Gohan is going to win, even though the previous summary mentions how Lavender gets the upper hand, it ends with a bud, hinting that Gohan might find a way to counter him essentially. But having all that said, I still have a gut feeling that Gohan will lose the match. So based on how I think things would be better, I guess Lavender will win the second round. I didn't want to say that, there are some dumb fucks out there. So it's me guessing Lavender could win. I am not claiming that I got information from my uncle who works at Toei that Lavender is going to win. It's a fucking prediction. The reason I like the idea of Gohan losing is that if he does it, it will keep burning him till the tournament of power. He will realize that how weak he has become for not training and thus will give his 100% in preparation. From the opening, it actually looks like he will train hardcore. We even see a purple sparkle. Who knows, Gohan might pull off a unique transformation of his own. Of course, Gohan losing wouldn't be bad news for Gohan fans because the exhibition match doesn't have any real impact. If that is something that fires up Gohan for the real deal, I would rather have that. Gohan can get his revenge on Lavender later anyway. He is someone who unleashes his best when his back is against the walls and has to protect his loved ones. So if he loses this match, he will get a moment to reflect upon himself and do right by his reputation. So now let's go frame by frame of the episode 80 trailer and try to make some more assumptions. So it starts with Gohan going offense against Lavender, hand to hand combat, going back and forth, classic DBZ style that we all love. Then it looks like Lavender got hold of Gohan, Mr. Satan and others look surprised. It could be a finisher move type of moment shown like that. Now coming to the real interesting part, Lavender poisons Gohan. We can't see that purplish aura like thing on both of his hands and that is poison. Earlier Toei put some information on their website which had Bergamo listed, listed as the one who can manipulate poisons. But we see something else entirely over here. Maybe that was a mistake, or maybe Bargamo is better than Lavender added, we'll find out. However, Lavender sounds like a really evil and sneaky opponent. He is really eager to kill Gohan to win. Before the battle, he says he, he can win if killing is allowed. Makes you think he's an expert in killing. Bargamo said, kill him to your heart's content. That was one dope line. 
The thing is, all three fighters of U11 looks comparatively weak to me. They are not the type of fighters who will win simply for being more powerful. But each of them has some special technique or even sneaky moves that some might consider unfair or cheating, but apparently all that doesn't matter here. We essentially have a no holds board match. In last round, Basil clearly cheated taking drugs from his Kai Shin, but no rule has been fixed yet. Zeno was okay with that, so looks like nothing can be considered cheating here. You just need to knock your opponent out or satisfy Zeno. Look at Gohan's eye. He got into a real mess right there. It looks bad. In this scene, Lavender using some kind of smoke poison attack from his mouth. Voah. He is one toxic fighter, you have to give him that. I don't know why this type of attacks give me a Pokemon battle type of vibe. Pretty sure he could fit in as a Pokemon too. This is smoke poison attack? Gohan took it head on. Maybe he misread it or didn't realize it's poisonous. Thought it's a weak attack and so faced it head on. The outcome as you see, he got blinded. So I think that scene we saw earlier where Lavender has poison on both of his fists, that's probably him trying to kill Gohan. Oh, and even though Lavender's poison tricks reminds us of Frost, key thing to note here is, Frost tried to poison using external elements. While poisoning is Lavender's natural ability, so it's not cheating in this case. Generally thinking, even being blinded wouldn't be a big problem for Gohan while facing a not so powerful opponent like Lavender, as he could fight nearly as good sensing Ki. But here comes the weird, mysterious problem. For some reason unknown, U7 fighters are unable to detect or sense Ki of U11 combatants, and that is probably the biggest obstacle. I saw some idiots commenting that all three of them mastered God Key. You have to be dumb BF to be saying something like that. Even after seeing Brazil, you still think they got the God Key? Besides, Goku can now sense it anyway. You could say maybe it's because they have a very different type of key for being from an entirely different universe, perhaps they have the ability to mask Key. If you remember, even Vegeta had difficulty understanding power levels Earth Fighter without using Scouter, later adopted to it. It could be something along that line. I think this will get addressed while they train for the Tournament of Power afterward. In this shot, we have their U11 Kaishin Ro, and he's getting a lot of hate. A big mouthed, annoying loser. Very unexpected from a Kaioshin. Zamasu turned out to be evil, but he wasn't really a fully fledged Kaioshin. He was rather in line to become one. His manners before he went rogue wasn't bad. So this is something weird, undoubtedly, as Kaioshins in general are supposed to be calm, of good natured. Kaioshin basically mean the god of creation. Can you imagine that? This dick is a fucking god of creation. Maybe this character has layers, we'll see. But to balance that off, the bearded god of destruction, Sidra, is equally unusually kind-hearted and has trouble destroying anything. On the other hand, the Universe 11 Kaioshin has been described to be very kind-hearted and someone that values life. So based on that, I guess the Clown God of Destruction Vormund would be the one who destroys stuff for the craziest of reasons, or for fun and games. Talking about U11, we have this black hooded guy there, and we know he's Topo. I covered details about him in my earlier video. There is something I worded kind of wrong in my last video. Vegeta never quote unquote agreed to train for becoming a God of Destruction, but Wiz did propose him that, and Beerus keeps thinking that they are trying to replace him, so in a way they are also around like candidates. <clears throat> they certainly have the potential for it, I was just making a connection in that way as I think Vegeta vs Topo rivalry would be cool to watch. And so guys, that's about all for now. You can vote on this poll on our Facebook page, Dragon Ball Fanverse. Who is going to win? Gohan or Lavender? Make sure to comment your thoughts, opinions and more down below. For more exclusive videos from me, subscribe to our other channel, 
Dragon Ball Fanverse. There, I upload shorter but faster updates. See you all in the next Dragon Ball Super video.